Reminds me of New Orleans, the Meta Ray area. Hold on, hold on. Unlimited is that three hundred dollars? Okay, that's not bad. Unlimited, that's or a happy straw? A happy straw. Happy sounds better. Oh, wow. Ah, unicorn, definitely. So give me a regular straw because those are not easy to drink out of. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. Yay. Thank you, Key. A Kirk. Look at this, huh? Interesting. I love it. Saturday, Key West Pride, and we are right now at the Bahama Village. Yeah, we just passed the Bahama Village and just walking down the streets. Just this trying is, to get this a feel is the Bahama for the, Village right now. Oh, at, this is the Bahama. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's why it has a Bahamian. Mm -hmm. So, this is our last day here in Key West. Tomorrow is the Pride Sunday, but tonight they're going to be blocking off the streets on Duval, especially for the Pride Street Fair. And right now, look, this is Bahama Village. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
I think there's more back there. I don't see anything Except anymore. Mural here. Oh my god, as my sister in law was saying, you have to go off the beaten path to actually find these treasures here. Oh my goodness, look at that. So nice. Wow. Nice place. Mm -hmm. For sale. Is it? Prime Old Town Commercial. They have wine here. It's awesome. So this is called the Battery Seminole. Wow. So, so it's a historical landmark here in uh, Key West. Yeah. And, and look, it's part of the U.S. Naval Base, I think. Someone, I see someone jogging there. So we are heading to the Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park. And as we are walking, we see these abandoned buildings. Show that to you. Ta da! It's so quiet, except for that construction behind me. Yeah. Almost there, wow, I can see it's beautiful. I tripped. I rolled over this gravel. Almost hurt my knee. Hey, look, it's Mom Sir's Boulevard Butler. We're here. Welcome to the park. Now it's where? The north? Yeah, south, yes. Or east. Southeast. <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, that doggy loves the water. Look at that, so cute. Oh, uh. So I can't get it, but he, you know, he doesn't go. See? And so I ran down to get the man, and I'm like, come on, boy, get out. I thought oh, like I was in Jaws or something. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I need to pick it up. Historic landmark. Wow! So, do you want to go on a farmer's market Thursday? That's a celebrity. Mm -hmm. I love cruises. <sighs> nice. Wow, this is tall. Yeah. That's a lot of them in perfect. A heron. Is that right? a heron? What's the other term for that, heron? I don't know. I thought it was a skirt. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. I love it. Nice suits for two room that are free. So this one is a free admission, so might as well check it out. We are now at the Florida Keys Discovery Center. The number of mangroves could sue us to, to May. Oh, wow. The yeah, Florida has very, very unique geography. Very nice. It's a concert venue. Right now we made it to the Zachary Taylor State Park. So to get in, we have to pay a dollar, two dollars and fifty cents. Thanks. You want me to hold something? There's your receipt. For Thank the rest you of the so day. much. Oh, nice. All right, let's do it. Okay, the fork first. Fast 
that's a newbie. Okay. Look at the cannon bottles. So we're here right now at Fort Taylor, which is in the Keys. It's known as the Gibraltar of the Florida Straits. It was built around 1845, and it's a federal fort, and it was meant to protect um, the United States against attacks from the, uh, the sea. So it was like one of 43 forts that were built. And the interesting thing about it is that during the Civil War, this is right in the South, not a single shot was fired upon this uh, fort and it still remained in federal hands. But you can see the panoramic view that you have here. So you can see that they had a great lookout, you know, to protect against anyone who would uh, attack from the sea. Over there is a cruise ship. But uh, around 18, uh, 1945, it stopped being used as a fort and it was used up until World War II. So it helped during the Civil War, uh, World War I, World War II, and um, during the Cuban, American Cuban crisis, um, it was used for, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, spying and things like that. So, wow, really very, very interesting. And then in 1971, you know, it got placed on um, the Nas National Historic Registry. It's just beautiful. And then look, there are cannons there. Yeah, they yeah. discovered a lot of the weaponry like in the, the 1970s or something, or 60s. So they've dug up a lot of the arms that were here. They were actually hidden in the 1890s. The one thing that stands out for me here is that it's surrounded by all this beautiful green vegetation. And it's very, very peaceful here. It's very quiet. Kind of like a hushed quiet that pays homage to what happened here. reminds me of uh, Inframuros in the Philippines too. Yes, yes. Yeah, it a smaller have, version. Yes, because all forts have that same similar thick brick walls, mm -hmm. you know, that are protecting against any type of bombardments and uh, yeah. it's a kind of strategic location that can oversee the coming of any type of invader. Mm -hmm. Very small. Yes. So, let's go over here. Yeah. Oh, is that a gift shop?
sally port. This was in Union hands. Very solemn music, really nice. Look at this canned food from bygone days. Oh, wow. Star lobster. They have tomatoes, yeast powder. They have oyster things. Wow. Lemons. Selected American oysters. <laughs> so it's kind of like the mess hall, huh? I think this is a mess hall, yeah. Looks like they ate pretty well. Mm-hmm. Their, their beds. Maybe. Oh wow. Come on. There. Let's look in here. Goes all the way back there. I know. It's amazing. Well, you can see the ocean or the from there. The mangroves here. Wow. Oh wow, the swamp. The lagoon, actually. So they roll the cannons closer to the window to fire. So they roll the, the cannon all the way up to the window, if ever. All the way down here. This is the last cannon. And the cannons are all capped. Yeah. So they're all closed. Yeah, and I guess they brought the cannons through wheels, you know, right up to the windows. The right. And then they could shoot. And then this one is the corner, the last. I like this corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, they might have another cannon here because there's the window. Another. This is set an amazing site, historical site that you have to visit. So much history here, and it's beautifully preserved. You know, it really deserves to be a national historic monument. 
And uh, I'd encourage you to have a chance to come to Key West to visit it. Put that on your list. It's yeah. really amazing. Yeah. A very humbling experience, too. Mm-hmm. All right. To our, to our next destination. It's welded. So those are the cannonballs. Cannonballs. All right, like a cannonball. There you go. That ends our tour. On the beach here at the Zachary Taylor Fort Zach Taylor. There's a beach. 